so we went through the material and now I want to talk about the model panel that we have here. The first component is at greet. At greet, at level, and then we have query grids, query levels. And let's see how many of them we can talk in this course. So I will start with at greet. This component gets some curves and some names and then shows you grids. Again, if you don't know what is a grid and how grids work in Revit, you need to just check out the Revit Essential course. But it's not a requirement to take this course because I'm going to just show you how it works. I will just minimize Grasshopper and back to Rhino in top level. And an important tip, make sure the units in Rhino is the same as units in Revit. How to check units in Revit? Just make sure that the Revit is active viewport and then type UN. And then this project unit pops up and then you can check, for example, the distance right now is centimeter. So I need to make sure that it is meter or with whatever decimal that you want. And length is millimeter. Make sure length is also meter. And that's it. Okay. So again, going back to the top viewport, I want to make some grid. Click on the polyline to make a curve starting by 000, zero, zero. and I push shift and just type maybe 10 so it will be 0 10 0 okay here I zoom in and then I push alt and click on this uh, gumball arrow and type 2 so it will copy 2 for me and then if I push alt and click on the red arrow again automatically it saves 2 in its memory I just push a space and again alt and red arrow space okay and now I have one, two, three, four, five curves. I want to start with one curve. Let's see what happens if I just add a curve component, right click, set one curve. And since my curve was pre-selected, I automatically have the component, including my curve and connect this curve. Let's try to have a good viewport from Revit. And then top is, if I stay over the top input, it says top of the grid. This input accepts a level constraint, an elevation, or a number as an offset from the curve. So we need some kind of elevation to work with this grid. So I, for example, I will go with four meter. And a name. Here I will type 1, the name of the grid. And then it goes black, which shows that it is working. And then using current document project 1, it is showing you giving, I don't know if we can say warning or not, it just gives you uh, added information. That okay you're working in a project one maybe it means that you're not saving uh, the project so don't worry about this it's uh, usually the extra information and now beautifully I have my grid in Revit showing the one name in it and I see the bubble with one because if I right click on the type you can see in the annotation grids and then I have three different types of uh, grid symbol, I can say. So let's just try to have this one. 
Now if I choose this gap and custom gap, so it's different ways of showing the grid. Okay, now let's see what happens if we have all the five grids. So I pre-select them and you can see if I zoom out in a, in a proper portion, you can see number one is staying here, meaning that we have grid number one, it goes in a red circle. Now I select all the five curves, select this component, right click, set multiple curves. And now I have a problem saying that the name one is already in use. So I right click on the name and enter two, three, four, five, okay. And right click, multi-line data, and it goes perfect. So you can see I have all of the five grids that I needed. And in Rhino, you can see one, two, three, four, five is showed in the grids.